Hello everybody and welcome back to more Spy Fox Free Operation Ozone. We have explored quite a bit of the overworld now. We found a prickly pear but we're unable to get it through this x-ray machine which is a bit of a shame. We can't open up the temple to get the chickle because we're missing this amulet piece. And we're also unable to find anybody who wants to buy dill pickle drops despite the fact that they sound like a very appetizing cookie. But there's still one more <laughs> Well, actually, two more continents to explore, but they apparently share... Apparently, Europe and Asia are the same continent in this game. And also, apparently, Australia does not exist. Well, it does, but we can't go there. So we're going off to Europe slash Asia, which is apparently just all a giant lake. Just like in real life. Ah, the lake. The freshwater pearl farm must be on that platform out in the middle. This is definitely European Asian music. It's definitely not American Prairie music, that's for sure. <laughs> Love that banjo. Oh, don't cry, man. I'm sure you can get a pimento on a stick somewhere. I mean, what? Avast, matey! I need a ride out to the Pearl Farm. The fate of the world depends on it. Empire State Building. Won't find that around here. That fisherman didn't understand a word I said. I bet he could hear me better if I had something to project my voice with. Too bad there's no spy gadget. Let's throw the candle after to laugh at him. Oh wait, we don't have that. That's where I keep my- Let's stun him with the stun bun. The sticky stun bun won't do me any good there. Well, I guess that's fair. I'm going to need a boat to get to that pearl pond. It's too far to swim. I'm surprised the locals are allowing this. <laughs> it says Universal Imports. Cool. Let's take a peek inside. Probably a cool little antique store. This is some freaky shack. Can I help you? Eh, just looking, but thanks for asking. One of my favorite parts of the game right here. Love the music, love this creepy girl. What sort of products do you sell here? I don't sell anything! Wow, that's gotta be bad for business. <laughs> How can this raccoon be so creepy and also so derpy at the same time? What kind of merchandise do you specialize in? Exotic imports and, you know, stuff. <laughs> okay, interesting. Ooh, we got a cool gas mask there. Can I have it? No, but we can watch TV on it, apparently. Oh, that looked like Darth Vader's mask in there. And it's changing based on when we click on it. That's weird. Hey, right, I want one of everything, please. Never mind, I don't want that, but I'll take one of everything else. Do you like pickles? Pickles are the world's most perfect food. They make you pucker. Uh, that is just wrong. Pickles are cucumbers that have been ruined. Art, this has been your arty hot take for the day. How much for the jar of pickles? I don't sell pickles. I eat them. Oh well, I've got just the thing for you. Feast your eyes. Would you like to buy a yummy box of dill pickle drops? They're delicious. You've got dill pickle drops? They're all so vinegary. I'll take them. Yay! Thank you. I'm sure you and your box of dill pickly goodness will be very happy. Yeah, well, <laughs> there's a sucker on every ship. <laughs> we got our we got our last dollar. That's great. You don't have any gum, do you? Why do you ask that? Well, I feel like chewing gum, but never mind. <laughs> this is like every awkward social interaction I've ever had. Making me a bit uncomfortable. I'm looking for the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. You don't happen to have it here, do you? Dixie's flaming lip gloss. Hmm, that sounds like some kind of code phrase. Uh-huh. I'd like the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu, please. Dixie's flaming lip gloss. That must be some kind of code phrase. No, if I think she's just having a stroke. the correct response was. 
Give me it. I need the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. Just take it. He's flaming lip gloss. Just take I'm it. Sure we're bigger than some kind of code And we're a spy I'm saving the world. Need the response code History will vindicate us. <laughs> Don't actually do that. Okay, well, I'll, I'll see you later, nice lady. Ooh, that guitar. My spy watch is beeping. I better answer it. Do Please we have to? Stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. What is it, Monkey Penny? Agent Pins has been dispatched to the desert. She has intercepted a useful gadget from Poodle's cosmetic factory for you. I can't quite make her out. Right, she's in disguise. Monkey Penny out. Okay. I guess we'll go back to the desert then. I was gonna go back to America, land of the free, but guess not. Dane, can I have my car do that in real life? Also, this prickly pear was not here before. You're looking sharp, Pins. Ah, uh, it must be 120 degrees in this cactus disguise. Keep your cool, Pins. What hot tip do you have for me today? Spycor intercepted this gadget from one of Poodle Galore's goons. It's a digital makeup compact. We think it's used for deciphering code phrases. Press the eye shade button and it will display the proper counterphrase. Ingenious. And it has all the latest designer colors, too. Good luck, Spy Fox. I'm out of here. They'll never notice a flying cactus. Oh. Plan B. She's supposed to be a porcupine? If so, that's kind of funny. Porcupine disguising itself as a prickly pear. Yeah, I, I see the resemblance. Shunk. Vroom. Wow, can I have my car do that in real life, too? Just drive, bent, and then drove up into the sky. It's the best. Alright, well, <laughs> that was a short detour. Let's get out of this creepy shack as quickly as we can. It's the Cosmetic Counter Code Phrase Compact. Okay. White Pants Face Powder. Pressing that button, access the counter Pain code on phrase. the backyard line, huh? Minty green loot cream. A counter code phrase has appeared <laughs> on the Poodles digital display. don't like display. spare changers. Blue powdered pussycat shadow. Pressing that button, access mm, the stretch counter code when phrase. Snaked. Corinthian wrinkled be gone cream. That access the Warm lever makes it hard to get out of the bucket seat. This is these are weird. Pink hoochie poochie shadow. A counter code Delight phrase has appeared on the digital heights. display. Salt and pepper sprinkle cream. Pressing that Owl button eggs over the easy. counter code phrase. Make a dish foundation. That access Gosh, the counter code phrase. Gosh, I didn't get phrase. that fun until just now. That's great. Pancakes forever. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we even succeeded at creeping her out, which is really something, eh? Let's try that again. Uh, do, do. This counter code phrase compact is just what the fashionable spy needs. Dixie's flaming lip gloss. That accessed the counter All code right. phrase. All right, there's the counter phrase. Hot, hot, hot. We're feeling hot, hot, hot. Here's the amulet. Be careful it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Don't worry, I'll carry it in my right hand. Ha ha. Remember, you'll need the hieroglyph code as well as the amulet to get into Chico Picchu. Right. How do you know Thank this? Thank you. It's been very interesting talking to you. <laughs> You're welcome. Have a nice day. I do declare this weird raccoon lady is the weirdest character in all of Humongous Entertainment. And that's saying something. All right, you're you're act you are actually weirder than the guy who made the five thousand dollar jug bowling advertisement in Freddy Fish Five. That's 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 actually pretty impressive. All right, Cookie, got good news for you. I got you two more dollars, so here you can get your bike now. Here you are, Cookie. I sold all the Cookie Scout cookies you gave me to sell. Hot bananas! Now I can get my very own official Cookie Scout stud bike completely tricked out with foot pegs, banana style saddle, alligator grips, and that thing on the handle in the twelfth time! Bye, Mr. Spy! See ya, Peppa. 
Peppa's canonically six feet tall, by the way. Gee, kids are so cute. Loud, but cute. <laughs> Bye, Peppa. Viva la revolution! <laughs> YouTube's not gonna like that. No one will misunderstand me when I use this little baby. Fortunately, I really don't care what YouTube thinks about me. Joke's on you, YouTube. You can't demonetize me. I ain't monetized anyways. What you gonna do? You have no power here. Okay, can we yell in the megaphone at Sport? Because he hasn't suffered enough in this dead-end job. That's not going to do me any good. No, we can't. But we can put on a cool new song, Live and Let Fry. T. T1. Depressing song. Let's do a more lighthearted one. Is this like the Spy Fox equivalent of Weird Al? Man, the elephant is still playing his game. That is the longest game of bowling I have ever seen. Third. Why is that creepy fox in the tuxedo keep trying to watch our game? It's a little weird. Alright, we're going back up here because we need to get the spy ear. And now that we've used the grappling granny, we have an extra slot to take this. We're just, we're gonna need that. You, you're gonna need that in every single playthrough. <laughs> love the, I love the sound effects in this game. They're great. Alright, yeah, we haven't actually been to Poodle's Cosmetic Factory yet, so let's go there next. Can we get the keycard back? The keycard worked like a charm. Er, a key, I mean. Guess not. Alright. <laughs> Thankfully, there are no guards. I'm in the Cosmetics Factory. I have two objectives in here. One, borrow Poodle's rocket ship. And two, find the informant Roger Bohr. Okay. <laughs> Makeup makes you pretty. Only if it's done properly. If you put too much eyeshadow on, you're going to look like a clown. And nobody likes to look like a clown. Okay. Uh. Sure, let's just ignore that. I'm sure the animals are okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's the best pun of them all. <laughs> that was long drawn out and subtle. I love it. Ooh. How did I not know about this until now? This is great. Industrial Training Field presents correct posture and uh, on the job. A. City. B. Lifting. C. Throwing out intruders. Yep, give them the boot. D. Cooking pasta. Most important of all. <laughs> e. Looking mean. <laughs> Copyright 1954. Industrial training films. Wow, how did I not know about this until now? There's a dance party? I didn't get invited to the dance party. 
Spy what could Spy Fox juggle? We absolutely could tear up the dance floor. Dance. You all better be dancing out there in YouTube land. Dance train line today in the cafeteria. This looks great. Employee of the month is this baboon. Not anymore, though. Wow, how many of these are there? Is that supposed to be a monkey? You know, that is how it works in real life, too, so that's pretty realistic. Uh-oh. We about to get controversial. Bro, you can't go to the girl's bathroom just because you're wearing sunglasses. It's not how it works. You gotta be a girl to go to the girl's room. That's the Puppet Goes to the Moon Moon 5 theme. What is that doing here? Oh, how humiliating. Okay, I think I think that must have been the last one. All right. Well, that was definitely worth it. That's about half the episode well, right this there. This room is head and shoulders <laughs> above the rest. It must be some kind of makeup test room. Oh, the puns just keep on coming! This is great! This is the best game. Not actually, but I, I do think that this is better than Spy Fox 2. I still think Spy Fox 1 reigns supreme, though. Spy Fox, over here. Uh, Spy Fox, you clicked on everything but me. The redhead. Roger Bohr. Wow, you had me wigged out there for a second. Sorry. There's been a lot of hairy stuff going on around here. If you need any info about Poodle's Cosmetic Factory, just ask. Roger, Roger. Cool. I must say, that wig looks absolutely fabulous on you. Thanks. This one's not so bad, is it? You should have seen yesterday's wig. Now that was atrocious. <laughs> I want photos. Here's where my notes... Oh, but I don't have any notes. Let's yell at Roger Bohr. Interesting, but I don't think that will do me any good. Okay, let's let's give him the sticky stun bun. It's a delightful cinnamon roll treat. I don't think that's the best use of the sticky stun bun. All right, fine. We'll use it eventually. Mark my words. Grover heard of as a combination cell save. All I can hear is mumbling. I'm going to need some auditory enhancement. If only I had an extra ear to hear what those guards are saying. Well, thank goodness they're not turning around. Otherwise, we'd be in big, big sadudu. <laughs> well, this is this is why we grabbed the spy ear. So then he just dropped the entire load of cassavas. Wham! <laughs> the spy ear is working. Those guards are coming through loud and clear. Miss Galorisher comes up with wacky combinations for the safe containing the key to the rocket ship. Whoever heard of itchy lip lotion as a combination for a safe? Whatever happened to good old numbers? <laughs> the combination to the safe containing the key to Poodle's rocket ship. I'm going to need that key if I'm going to borrow that rocket. I'd better write it down. Oops, I'm going to get an earful from Quack about that. How could you, Spy Fox? That's okay. Quack has plenty of other glasses. He can just go to Ikea and buy, like, ten of them for five dollars. Ikea glasses break all the time, man. It's fine. Do, do, do. Okay, this is not quite as well kept as the lobby. This is the part of the cosmetic factory you don't show the auditor. Or the health inspector. What? I work here? Can't you tell by my style? 
How diabolical! That device is some sort of hair security scanner. I'm going to have to get an appropriate hair of the day wig disguise if I'm going to get past this crazy contraption. Do we though? I can use this yeah. top balloon to gather information about the hair of the day. I don't want the hair. To, no. If I had to work at a place where it's like, you gotta change your hairstyle every day, that would be at one place that I'd be saying sayonara to. Wow, this real machine fast. looks like some sort of scalp enhancement device. Otherwise known as a wig making machine. Oh boy, how tacky. Wait. Uh. Were those, those, were those alligators? Those are the weirdest looking alligators. They had like Homer Simpson's face. But they were green. They didn't have like... No, I know what I saw. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Come on, show me the alligators again. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, that was weird. Okay, so they do have their snouts. But when their, their eyes changed, so like when they their snouts were up, it looked like their head. And it literally looked like Homer Simpson's face. That was so weird. That screen shows the different styles of wigs this wigged out machine can make. That's a pompadour style wig. Okay, we got the pompadour. That's a mullet style wig. Also known as don't ever get one. That's a bouffant style wig. Bouffant. How fancy. That's a pompadour style There's only three types of wig. hairstyles in the entire world. And if you're a guy, there's only one hairstyle in the world, and that's the mullet. That I, screen shows I would hate to live in that world. I can add to my wig. You for that or you're bald. Got to rake a butterfly with a very smug look. A bird cage. Wow. No thanks and four different colors to choose from. I don't think so. Boo, 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 boo. All right, Roger Bohr, we gotta know what the hair of the day is. It's desperate. It's desperately needed. I don't suppose you would know what the hair of the day is. The hair of the day is a blue mullet, accented uh -oh. with a lovely birdcage accessory. Thanks that for the heads that up, actually might be the worst hairdo in the entire world. Blue mullet with a birdcage in it? If that's the future of fashion, then I would rather be bald. Well. This is going to be. This is going to kill Those me to wear it. Change the wig color. Four fashion mm. colors to choose from. Oh, this is, good. this is. Oh, great! And it's not even a good shade of blue. <laughs> Looks like you're wearing Sully's hair as your hairstyle, and then there's just a birdcage there too. I bet this wig will look nice on me. No, it won't. It won't look nice on anybody. Now this wig really makes a statement. I'll just keep it in my pocket until I need it. It definitely makes a statement, but it ain't a good one. It's making the statement of, hey, I am legally blind and make bad life decisions. I've never understood the purpose of dyeing your hair. Like, if your hair is just an unnatural color, that, that ain't visually appealing. If, in my opinion. So ladies, if you're out there, just because my avatar is blue doesn't necessarily mean I like to see blue hair on ladies. Or guys, Ivor. I don't Talk discriminate. Bad hair day. <laughs> I don't discriminate. Blue hair is not great on guys or girls. <laughs> this has been Artie's hot take for the day. <laughs> oh no! Conflict. My wig disguise got me past that hairy scanner. I'll leave it here so I can. What get the heck? Back None out. of these. None of these guards have the hair of the day. How did they get in here? Have they just been living here for the last 24 hours? Or did they or is the hair of the day in their pocket? Also, that dog is making actual puppy noises, despite being a sentient dog, presumably. Do you really need that many guards for one rocket? I need something to stun those guards with. Especially since one of them is a fish, so I guess he's basically useless. He's a guy, how dare you? I've been here. I'm the hardest working one of them all. Like, but can you actually like move? No. I'm stuck here until I can figure out how to immobilize those guards. Is it time? Is it time? Did he just say it's time? Yes, it's time for the Sticky Stun Bun, the best spy gadget of them all. I hope Quack's Sticky Stun Bun has more than flower power in it. <laughs> best part. Bun. The sticky stun bun worked. 
wax caramel coated confection has left those guards stuck in their tracks. Oh, that's great. Also, best sound effect in the game plays when the guard sees it. Duh! I love that sound effect. Joink! The safe containing the key to Poodle's rocket ship. I just need to enter the correct code to open it. I already forgot what the correct code was. Itchy lip lotion. It's itchy lip lotion, eh? That crazy combination worked. All right, I've here got we go. The key to Poodle's rocket ship. No safe is safe with this spy around. Cool. We're going on a trip in Pools Glore's favorite rocket ship. <laughs> Nobody else will mind Spy Fox. <laughs> we have liftoff. The key works. I'm sure Poodles will be mad that I borrowed her rocket, but it's her own fault for being evil. <laughs> Flawless logic. Sweet sabotage. Look at the size of that aerosol abomination. I've got to stop it before it depletes the ozone layer and everyone gets a nasty sunburn. That would be important. APD. That must stand for aerosol particle diameter. Pushpin needs that number for his congeal pill. I'll just copy it onto a compact disc for safekeeping. All right, APD 1000. Spyfox doesn't have any paper to write on, so he writes on a CD, just like the, just like our true chat. Let's go inside. We'll take on Poodles right now. Wow, okay, this is an interesting area. We're in the final area already. Unfortunately, we can't actually do anything here, but... You could make one tall beehive hairdo with all that aerosol, if only the aerosol wasn't being used for evil. <laughs> that, that's the most evil color of aerosol you could get, basically, unless it was like blackish red. I'll deal with Poodles Galore after I've dealt with the aerosol. We can't just say hi? <laughs> Big hi, Poodles. How'd you get here? Well, gotta run. By the way, would you like to buy a box of dill pickle drops? <laughs> Look, Spy Fox might be on a mission, but he's a successful business entrepreneur. If this spying stuff doesn't work out, then he needs a backup plan. He's just being smart. Well, I say that after he puts on a blue mullet. Maybe he's I not. Hope Monkey Penny doesn't <laughs> see me like this. I'd never hear the end of it. I think I'll leave it's this trick here for safekeeping. Very true. Monkey Penny would not let you hear the end of it because that is the worst hairdo I think I've ever seen. Do 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 Gotta give Pushpin the uh, APD number. See ya, sport. All right, now while we're up here, there are two more spy gadgets that we're gonna need. One is the spy toaster. We need this in every playthrough. Gonna need it for an upcoming task. And the other thing that we're gonna need is the Rust Buster. It's a surprise tool that will help us later. Nice job. Alright, Pushpin. Here we go. I got I got you a bootleg copy of Spy Fox Free. Here is the aerosol particle diameter number you wanted, Pushpin. Straight from the orbiting aerosol can itself. Excellent, Mr. Spy Fox. Now, all I need is... Kickle from the heart of the jungle. A prickly pear pizza from the pizza shop. Mmm, delicious. A freshwater pearl found only in the oysters of the lake. And then I can complete the congeal fill. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> Hey, Monkey Penny, did you know I can use Mobile this spy watch to call you right here? Please stand by. Why, yes, I did. Spy Fox, why are you using your very expensive spy watch to call me when I'm right here in the room? Because it's fun hearing you in stereo. Spy Fox, out. She's helping fix the mess as well. Please stand by. I'm right here in the room with you, Spy Fox. I know. Isn't it amazing how technology can allow you to be in two places at once? Right. 
Monkey Penny out. <laughs> if I had a spy watch, there's a 100% chance that I would use it in an inappropriate way. <laughs> like calling someone to it just for them and cracking dumb jokes. Please stand by. I'm right behind you, Spy Fox. Thank you for your unwavering support, Monkey Penny. No, I mean I'm sitting right behind you. So you don't need to call me on your spy watch. Monkey Penny out. Please stand by. I'm right here in the room with you, Spy Fox. Alright, well, that's not much fun. <laughs> let's let's blow this popsicle stand. Bada beam, bada boom. And I think that's a good place to stop for the day. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Despite the fact that we've only found one of the ingredients, we're actually very close to getting the other three, so... Probably only one, maybe two episodes left in this version of the path, and then we'll be switching over to me and Marty playing the game, which will be probably a lot more entertaining, but maybe a little more dumb, because we tend to talk about stupid topics. But it also makes it very entertaining, so you're definitely going to want to tune in for that. So, thank you all for watching, I hope you guys tune in for the next episode, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.